Hi, it's Marty Milner with Caldwell Banker Hearthside in Newtown, Pennsylvania, in beautiful Bucks County. Hope everybody is doing well today. Another edition of my um, video um, blog with information about the real estate market, what's happening in uh, Bucks County, Newtown, Yardley, all over the area. Um, so we're we're past Thanksgiving. Um, I'm recording this uh, actually the last day in November. Um, so I thought that I would talk today about um, steps that you could take um, if you are planning on buying a house in um, 2018. It certainly um, isn't too early to think about that. And there are some steps. Um, I wrote down actually seven ideas um, that I think would be helpful um, in, prep in preparing for your home purchase in um, 2018. So here we go. The first uh, suggestion I would make is to check your credit score. Um, basically, mortgages are driven by credit scores. So um, you know, the, the stronger your credit, the higher it is. Um, in general, the better your rate's going to be. So it's important to know what that is. Um, you can check with any of the three or all three of the credit bureaus. Um, actually, you can get one free report from each each year. Um, so I would highly suggest um, checking and knowing your credit score. Um, second would be, um, especially with the holidays approaching, don't open new credit cards. Um, again, uh, opening new credit cards um, could uh, uh, impact your score negatively. So you know, if you're going to look to buy a house in uh, 2018, probably a good idea not to open new um, credit card accounts right now. Um, my third suggestion would be, um, a, a, again, um, for the holidays, um, if you're comfortable doing this, not everybody is, um, suggest from family members perhaps uh, financial gifts. So uh, could possibly help um, make your down payment a little bit easier. So uh, might be something to think about um, as we approach um, the holidays. Uh, the fourth idea, um, which I think is really important, uh, would be to interview agents. Um, I love it when um, prospective buyers, um, you know, want to talk to me and kind of understand how I work, um, how I communicate, um, and just basically see whether it's a good fit. I remember um, several years ago, uh, I had a um, prospective buyer at the time who since has purchased and become become a friend, um, sent me, I don't know, it was about a 20 questionnaire um, interview, basically, that I had to respond to in writing. And then um, she picked uh, three uh, people from that, um, from those responses and interviewed in person all three. And um, it was pretty comprehensive and interesting to go through that. So um, interview agents. Uh, number five, um, just keep your eye on interest rates. Um, they've been pretty steady. Um, you know, still pretty much at all time, you know, historic lows, but just keep an eye on them. Um, sixth would be find a lender. A lender. Um, I think that's also really, really important. Um, you can start that process even before you found your house. Um, interview a lender. And the last piece um, as a corollary, corollary to that would be to get pre-approved so that when you do start the process of looking um, and you, know, you find the right house that you're really prepared um, mentally and you know, financially um, to take the next step which would be to write an offer. So hope this is helpful. I appreciate your watching. Um, if you have any questions, be happy to talk to you. I can be reached uh, by phone 215-519-1399. Shoot me a text or an email. Be gl glad to talk to you. Hope everybody has a great day and thanks for watching.